Hello. Hey guys, this is my hello, and this is Let's Play Braid. So, in the last episode, we were on World 4 and we got half the pieces. So let's go on and continue with the level, shall we? Now, from what I can tell, I think this episode may... Like, I don't think I'll finish... I, I mean... Oops. I don't think I'll get to World 5 today. That should be fine with you, right? Uh oh Nope. No. So, what you're supposed to do is make the Goomba go to the left. Alive. So you can grab a key. So, if you would please... Oh, crap. Yeah, well, you're supposed to do this, so... The thing is, those piranha plants are time immune, so that would suck. Ah, I heard a key going like ding, 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 ding. So many jumping. What is this, Banjo Kazooie? Like with the whole crocodile transformation? You know the I like to get the jump, jump, jump. I sure to use the same sound effect from Banjo Kazooie. Did it just bounce on the Goomba? Oh no! Hello, good die. So now you have the key, which is good. Also notice how the keys so far, the keys that we've been picking up are time immune. Yeah, that makes a huge difference as you'll see later on in this episode. Hello, bunny. Go screw yourself and die. Yeah, go screw yourself into the ground. Yeah, you screwed yourself into the ground. It's called burying yourself. So we got... Hello, yeah. So, as you can see, the key here is time immune, so it changed, it changed form to like, you know, inactive or like busted yeah so you can't use the key anymore ever but it's okay because the puzzle piece we got was time immune buddy time immune if we can grab it tricks are for kids tricks are for kids tricks are for kids now what you want to do here is wait here for five seconds one two three four five now this part is pretty annoying basically you want to Coordinate. Make sure these time immune Goombas can make it to here by first stepping left and right so you can they can get past the two prana plants. Then oh shit! What? Okay, got it somehow. Cool. Now here's something cool. Wait here for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. That sounded weird. I know, but hey, who's here to blame me? Now to do the same thing, make sure these Goombas get it past their first two Piranha Plants alive, and then jump out of here. Ah, new ground. One, two, three, four, five. Counting with my hello. There are five seconds. Oh, sh okay, fine. Five seconds, and then how many pieces of chalk? Eight motherfucking pieces of chalk! Anyway, so what you want to do is make sure the Goomba... Oh, shit. Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> uh, yeah. There's some trial and error for sure in these games. In this kind of game. In this game for sure. You need to make sure your timing is good. Yes, good. Now, in order to get... You see over there? That's a star. That's a freaking, that's a freaking star. Now, you may be wondering. My hello, why the hell would you want to grab these stupid stars? Stupid stinking stars. Stupid stinking stupid Oh shoot. There we go. No 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 rewind 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 Okay. This is the tricky part. Coordinating the rewind so that Coordinate the rewind so that first of all oh first of all the final plant on the right does not jut out of the ground and then make sure that Oh, oh! Make sure that the middle prana plant doesn't also jut out of the ground as well. So, yeah. So, you can use this prana Goomba to jump over this prana plant that will always block your way. Cock block, yeah. Oh. The rest is easy. Just jump from here to the. Whoa. Let's see. Okay. Okay, well, there we go. We got a goom. We keep bouncing a goom, and we got the star. Nice. Did you hear a little gong effect? Like, gong. Like, Japan. Or something. Gong. Asia. So, yeah. 
Um, so, what's up with you guys? Apparently, Paranormal Activity 3 is coming out. And, okay, um... I am going to... I already got the puzzle pieces, so all I care about is... All I care about is... Alright, oh, these are time immune, right. I forgot. So I'm recording this on Friday. And apparently this is when Paranormal Activity 3 was released. Or came out. And I'm like, I never watched the first one. I still have to. I watched the second one, and... I talked about it before in Pokemon Crystal. It was like... Oh. Yeah. So look at those clouds. Like clouds and all. Like, for me... Horror movies and all. I never really... I'm not really into that genre. Not to mention I don't scared, get scared that easily. Or don't want to. So... I don't know. I don't feel... I don't really find appeal in horror movies. So... Yeah, but they said like Paranormal, Paranormal Activity 1 was, you know, phenomenal, I guess. Now notice how, yeah, so, try as you might, you can't get the Goomba past those two Prana Plus, since their frequency is like so small, I mean, they have, they have such a small frequency, high frequency that, high frequency or a small period that they will pop up every time, like, look at that, boom, 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 boom. So what you want to do is... But notice how if you're in these clouds, everything goes faster, like... Oh, that didn't work. That didn't work. That didn't work. Stupid! That didn't work! So now I was talking about movies. And, you know, it's time for scary movies and all, right? Ah, he got the key. But, you know, it's almost Christmas. So that means it's... I mean, it, it's not... It's, it's only October, but come on. After Halloween, it's gonna be like Thanksgiving and then Christmas movies. Or maybe they might start Christmas movies in November. Who knows? Knowing the holiday craze and all. And knowing how fast and eager they might be to do so. So, I don't know, like... Like, I remember being raised on ho the Home Alone movies, like... Especially the first two ones. Especially the... Oh, no! Especially the second one. Oh, come on! You serious? You serious? Oh, no! Come on! Oh, wait, this is bad. Freaking Prana Plant. Okay, I'll just modify the face. Yeah, modify the face. The key, the timing being key will press against the door. And then you can just run. Yes, there you go. That's what you can do. Oh, shizzles. 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 And then, like, I personally like the second Home Alone movie more since I watched it more. Like, I have not I haven't, like, on a recorded home video. Compared to like in you know, the Home Alone one job I've only watched one a few times. Not that much. Like people say that the first one is better better than the second one, but being raised in the second one, I'm kinda biased. I mean there's like a whole bunch of But yeah. As for the third one, I thought it was oh right, I was supposed to go up there. Right. You see the huge ass cloud over there? Yes, well. Well, let's see. Jump and you'll be fine. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. Uh! Notice how everything was in slow motion when you're on the cloud, like, slow motion cloud. It's like, the clouds in the bottom row there move in fast motion, so everything is in fast motion, which is how we got the Goomba past those timey immune prana plants. And the clouds on the top row are slow, like the one that we just were on, so... Yeah. Oh, shut up, phone! Anyway. Um... I thought... Okay, oh my god, this level... This level is horrible. This is probably the hardest level in this world. And not just for the puzzle piece too. There's a star piece here. I'm not going to get it this episode. Because I'm still practicing on getting that star piece. Or star. This is not Paper Mario. Now, how do you do this again? It's like... First of all, I killed this Goomba. I said kill the Goomba! Shit! Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> okay, so... I remember what she's supposed to do. Um, Actually, I'm gonna kill the Goomba. Anyway. And then I'm gonna do this. Now, notice how the key is not time immune. Which means that if you move backwards, the key will also move backwards. With or without you. It all depends. So that's what's called a fickle companion. Thank god these puzzle pieces are time immune. 
Now let's go rewind back in time. And let's kill this dude. And then, um... Now this part is tricky. Very tricky that I barely remember how to do it. Um... First of all, I think that Goomba is supposed to... Oh, come on, Goomba! Don't leave without me! Don't leave without me, dude! Come on, dude, I need you! And stuff. So, yeah. I was talking about Home Alone. Like, I thought the third movie was alright. Especially with the whole change in characters and the fact there's like four people. Even though there's like some sort of repetition, like, oh, look, Kevin did a false, you know, alarm call again. Or not Kevin, but whoever the kid is. Yeah. I guess one of the only things that one. Yeah. But I have to say, have you, ever, have you guys ever heard about Home Alone 4? Yeah, they made a fourth one. Apparently, it's like an interquote between the first two Home Alone movies. Judging by the many continuity errors, there's like so many continuity errors in a movie, which is not even a movie, but like a directive VHS movie, which shouldn't even even be that. It should be like more like a Disney Channel movie. Because we're coming out loud. It was so bad. It was so bad. It's like, okay. So first of all, you know, um, Harry and Marv, right? Those two, you know. Those two from the first two Home Alone movies, apparently they kind of confused the two characters. So, the gu a guy who looks like Harry, you know, a Joe Pesci look like or something like that. His name is Marv. Marv was the guy with the hair, the guy with the spider, and like, Aah! and don't walk off. Shit. Okay, this is. I do have to admit, this is one of the more confusing. What? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! What am I saying? Shit all the time. But I remember how to. Oh sh! Come on. But yes. So yes. Um, for those. So yeah, they confused Marv and Harry. Like they fused them into one character. I guess. Yeah. So that's a another minus point. Let's see. And even though. So the reason why I say Home Alone Four might be an interquel between Home Alone One and Four is because of Kevin's age, which is like between. Can you grab the key? Which is between the ages of Kevin when he was between like he's younger than the Kevin from Home Alone 2 but older than the Kevin from Home Alone 1 and in that time I guess um, his parents have divorced for some unspecified reasons oh we were in a rut that's the only reason your mom and I were in a rut cool story bro I could care less about ruts okay now die Shit! Shit! Okay, as you can see, this is the hardest. This is one of the hardest puzzles in the game, for sure. Okay, wait, wait for the Goomba to pop out of the cannon so that he can ride this platform. Yes, yes, no, okay. Grab it, grab it, grab it. No! Okay. I hate this puzzle. I hate this puzzle. I really do. It's one I actually had to look up the guide for because I. Oh. <laughs> Funny thing is, I'm talking about something I really hate, Home Alone 4, while doing a puzzle that I really hate. So, what more about Home Alone 4? Let's see. It was so. I mean, I'm not a fan of using the word gay in a derogatory sense, but that movie was so gay. I'm serious. It was so gay. It's like, <laughs> I mean, it's like horrible actors and like you know, and such and such. Horrible stories. It felt like a Saturday morning cartoon than a Home Alone movie. Oh, oh, duh! That's not what I was supposed to do. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. I get it now. Um, brain farts much. Jeez. But yes, no. But yes, everything about the Home Alone Four was so bad. Like the story, the or the lack thereof story rehashed stuff. Oh, and the music. They used like some sort of pop music version of Jingle Bells. Like s something sound like sung by one of those recent, you know. It was so bad. Oh, and don't t and don't get me started about Well, what was that? What just happened? I don't know. I'm confused. Okay. There was some some sort of skip in the frames or something, but anyway, so the ending like, 
That was pretty much the fakest looking snow I've ever seen in my life. Okay, so, there we go. You're supposed to jump against that pillar, which is something you can't go through, in order to kill the Goomba, in order to get the key. Okay, yes. I'm going to show you a sneak preview of, um, what, well, that's not how you do it. Are you stupid? Are you stupid? Anyway. Are you stupid? I'm going to show you a sneak preview of the star piece. The star. It's a star. This is not Paper Mario. This is freaking Braid. This is Braid. 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 Craid. Brad. Okay, so. Getting the star piece. Star! It's a star! Shit. Getting the star revolves around. Bouncing yourself up. With the Goombas in. Bouncing yourself up. But, doing a double bounce actually. You need to do a double bounce. Off the Goombas here. Okay, that didn't work, obviously. So, because there's actually platforms up above us. Yes, there's another layer of platforms up... Oh, come on. There's another layer of platforms up above us. And that's where the puzzle... Okay, that's not supposed to work. That's not, that's not, you're not supposed to do that. You shouldn't have done that. Okay. Uh, no. The, the thing is, you need to make sure... When you rewind time, or adjust time, you need to make sure you're, uh, you know, still, you know... From the first, you're still in the air from the first bounce, not in the air from jumping. You need to have jump bounce already, so you, you know you have the force from bouncing on the first Goomba. So you need to have the force from bouncing on the first first Goomba. Otherwise, you need to try again, because you know you need the first bounce in order to get the second bounce, and the second bounce is higher. Now the objective is this part. Like you need to do Goomba bouncing twice here, or a few. More. Oh no! See, see how it's like you know, falling to the right. I'm supposed to fall to the left. Oh, no, 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 no! Shit, shit, shit! I hate when this happens because that's when you screwed up. Like this is not supposed to happen. Yeah. So, yeah. As you can see, this is a very bad star piece. STAR! Stop calling the star pieces! They are stars! STARS! They are whole stars! Okay, that was closer, but not enough. And these Goombas have to be time immune, goddammit. I mean, the time immunity of the Goombas is a huge part of the puzzle here. SHIT! 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 How many times have I said shit in this episode? And why am I saying shit so much these days? Like, I barely- that's one word I barely say. Okay, 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 okay. As you can see, getting the stars is a huge pain in the ass. But that's okay, I don't intend to go onto World 5 in this episode. I intend to go there next episode. Just because it feels more pop. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get the star later. Maybe off screen, then maybe post commentary, because that's what it. Because I haven't gotten the star myself yet. I've seen other people doing it, but I've tried practicing getting the star, and I failed. Besides, I'm going over time, so. Yeah, so we're at the we're at the end of World Four. And what is that little design at the bottom? It's like some sort of fork and a one. One. Is it a reference to World One? But no, I never noticed that before, so I didn't know actually. But yes, here's the flag. Hey, we still have the key. Cool. And so in order to read, in order to read his, his text, time needs to move forwards. So we need to walk walk forwards. Hello there. Hello there. I'm sorry, but the. Pr Hey, wh where are you going? I don't know. I can't talk to you since you're going too slow. You're talking too slowly. Talk faster, man. Talk faster. Talk like that. So actually, World 5 and 6 are now opened. So this is World 6, and this is World 5. This is our next destination, so we will go there next episode. And you'll see that the puzzles here would be much more trippy. I don't know. I'm actually... Yeah, the puzzles might be a bit more trippy because World 5 introduces a mechanic that even I don't understand that well. Sometimes. <gasps> Whatever. See ya. Oh shit, I have to... <laughs> I have to complete the puzzle. Duh. How did I forget about that? Okay, um... Hmm. So judging by the story from Time and Place, I think this may be Tim revisiting his childhood bedroom. And in place, since this is a place of his childhood, he is also reminded of his childhood. That's what I can guess. What does this have to do with the main story? I don't know!